friend's LED bulb which you use in your home, if it becomes faulty, you throw it. Today through this video, I am going to tell you that if LED bulb used in your home becomes faulty, then how you are going to repair this and that also without spending any money. So this LED bulb I have, take this and let us connect this with bulb holder. When I connect this, you can see this LED bulb is not glowing. In this bulb holder, there is power supply or not, let us check this. To check, I am using this LED bulb. You can see here, this LED bulb is glowing. It means in this bulb holder, there is power supply. Now what I have to do, we have to check this LED bulb. So I am connecting this. When I connect this, you can see this bulb is not glowing. Similarly, when we connect this bulb, this bulb is also not glowing. This means both the bulbs are faulty. So take this LED bulb and first of all you have to open this. To open this, slowly hit on this edge. When you hit here, it will get open. You have to put a twisting pressure here to open. Inside this, there is a glue. Due to this, it is tightly fixed. So I already opened this before. Now what we have to do, we have to connect this with holder. I connected this with the bulb holder. You can see here, LED bulb is not glowing. Now understand one thing here, in this LED bulb, mostly when this bulb becomes faulty, it is because there is a fault in LED. Chances of fault in circuit is only 10%. In almost 90% cases, these LED becomes faulty. First of all, what we have to do, check the circuit. To check circuit, I will tell you two methods. By using any one method among the two, you can check the circuit. In first method, you can use a multimeter. Take this multimeter and select the DC voltage position. I am selecting at 200 volt. You can see I selected DC voltage and range is 200. Now take probes of multimeter and in this LED bulb, wires which are coming from circuit, you can see there is one white wire and one black wire. So in front of white wire, it is written positive. So with positive, we will connect this red probe. And with negative, we will connect this black probe. When I connect these, you can see approximately 120 volt voltage we are getting. It means this circuit is in OK condition. So here I told you how through a multimeter, you can check the circuit of LED. Now if you don't have a multimeter, then how you will check this? Here without using multimeter, if you want to check the circuit of LED, then take a piece of wire. Now after taking this wire, what you have to do in this circuit, power supply which is coming, this plus and minus here, you have to short these through this wire. Friends remember, when you short these, there will be a sparking. You can see there is a spark with a knocking sound. It means circuit is ok and voltage is generating. So in this way, if there is a sparking and a knocking sound, then it means circuit is ok. Now we have to check LED. To check this LED, you can use multimeter and you can use a wire also. What you have to do, take this wire and connect with both sides of diode in this way. I am going to explain you using a multimeter because there is a difficulty in connecting wire. So now I am going to check through this multimeter. Take this multimeter and select the resistance position in this. I selected the resistance position. After this, I will check the continuity once. You can see here multimeter is showing the continuity and a beep sound is also coming. Now here what you have to do, this diode here, you have to check this diode. To check this, what you have to do, take the probes and connect with both sides. I mean in this way you have to connect. When we connect here in any diode and if LED bulb starts glowing, then this means that diode is faulty. So one by one we will check every diode. You can see here right now any LED bulb is not glowing. Now when I connect with this LED bulb, you can see here LED starts glowing. You can see LED is glowing. You can see one more thing here, there is a black spot. It means in this LED or diode, there was a spark, so this diode became faulty. After this, here also spark is generated. This means these two diodes are in faulty condition. What we have to do, we have to bypass both of these or we can connect other diodes. Friends, we know that which diodes are in faulty condition. Now we have to repair this. To repair this, first of all, turn off the power supply. After this, what I will do, this diode we have, which is faulty. To remove this, I am using a tester. So I am removing this from here. In a proper way, pull out this diode and in a proper way, clean here. Now we will do soldering here. When we do soldering here, 
then this diode gets bypassed. To solder this, I am using a soldering iron. So let us solder this. So through a soldering iron, we will solder this in a proper way. Soldering of this diode is done. After this, let us check that LED bulb is glowing or not by turning on power supply. After turning on power supply, you can see some LED bulbs are glowing. If you cannot see, then in low brightness, you may be able to. Here you can see some LED bulbs are glowing, but they are not glowing in a proper way. So look here, this LED bulb is also in faulty condition because there is a black spot also. You can see full brightness is there now. When I touched here, it started giving full brightness. This means this LED is creating problem. So let us bypass this also. So I am removing this. After removing this, we will do soldering here. So friends, both the diode here, which were in faulty condition, we short them. That is, we bypassed these. You can see this diode and this diode, we did soldering here. Now let us check by turning on power supply that LED bulb is glowing in a proper way or not. So I am turning on the power supply. When I turned on the power supply, you can see LED bulb started glowing. Brightness here is little bit high, so I am reducing it. Now you can see LED bulb is glowing with full intensity. So friends, in this way, in your home, you can repair LED bulb. Here we didn't spend even a single rupee to repair this LED bulb and LED bulb again started glowing. Friends, if you like this video, then do like, share and comment on this video. And if you didn't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.